Okay, so I've put the vacuum former in this box just to make it safe, um, make it easy to use, uh, give me some way of mounting the vacuum unit, because uh, otherwise you've got this pump on the underside that sticks, that protrudes from the bottom, um, where this is an old kitchen cupboard, um, and it, it just makes for a nice housing really. So it gives us somewhere to put the heater because I have sort of butchered the wiring of it on it, as we can tell with the old insulation warfare, and I've cut the case up. You know, these things are uh, at best crude. And what else have I done? I've wired up the switch for the actual vacuum unit uh, to here. Yeah, should we just give it a whirl? Um, and I would say that. A lot of people, other than YouTube videos, seem to have quite poor vacuum. Um, where this is this is incredible, the amount of vacuum force of, of it's generating. That Dyson pump under there is evil. Um, once you actually put the frame on and turn the vacuum pump on, you can't lift it off. I'll just give you a little demo. You ready? I, I, I personally feel that you've got to put some serious force to pull that off while the pump's on. Um, I, from messing with some commercially available vacuum formers, uh, we had one at, six, at, at college and um, one at high school, uh, my unit seems to create a hell of a lot more vacuum force, vacuum pressure, than um, any of the commercially available units. And it's that, that Dyson air pump under there, it's absolutely savage. Um, so again, a little look at what we're using, uh, some sheets of plastic, that's one of my moulds, um, which you can see I've hollowed it out on the inside, and these are these are little air holes that allow the air to um, suck out of the corners, yeah, you see them? That was an earlier mould, which... I would say if you can make them out of single blocks, it's better because I'm finding that my sheets are lifting and splitting, even though they were UPVA glued. But I think it might be the heat. Um, again, I've created these little draft grooves just so we suck the air out right in the corners. Um, we'll have a go with this mould. So I hope that's a good enough explanation of um, what I've actually made, and then we'll get on with a demo.